Frankie Avalon hit it big with songs like Venus and Bobby Socks to Stockings and starring roles in many films. He's now celebrating his 24th year as one of this country's leading entertainers. And did you swoon when you heard Fabian sing Turn Me Loose or Tiger? Fabian has managed to make 30 films over the years while still rocking and rolling to an audience of loyal fans all over the world. Who were you dancing with when Bobby Rydell crooned the country with Volare, Wild Thing, and Kissin' Time, just to name a few? Bobby was as lovable in Bye Bye Birdie as he is on television and in the many personal appearances he makes around the world. How about a big welcome for Bobby Rydell, Frank Avalon, and Fabian? seen this man in about 16 years something I know. crazy we I know. used to work together on telethons the first time i saw him i went crazy how are you are you having a good time doing this terrific absolutely yeah. really how did it start how did it come that somebody put you all together to the man responsible is is, is right back, back there, there dick, fox. On his... dick fox hey. no oh, dick, fox. <laughs> dick, fox. Not dick, dick fox dick fox i want one of those sweatshirts oh, it has friend. your three pictures on it huh He's telling me to take off my glasses i take off my glasses i can't see <laughs> You've had a good time since you've been in town. The North yeah. End has seen a lot of oh, you, Oh, huh? yeah, boy, we've had a great time. Yeah. Perfect time. It's an interesting thing, having grown up in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, across the river from, yeah, this, from right. Philadelphia. Mm. Maybe, we, maybe I got it first. Or I was well, one of those kids that got it first. But you've said, Frank, it seemed like every kid in South Philly wanted to be or was destined to be a singer. Absolutely. It's from the neighborhood. I mean, we lived uh, two, three blocks from each other. Definitely. And Chubby Checker. Yeah, and going back to Mario Lanza and so forth. I mean, a lot of people come out of our neighborhood. You, Frank, is it true, Fabian, you were sitting on a front of step somewhere, 14 years old, and somebody said, you've got the looks, let's go? That's about it. <laughs> how did, did, is that really how it happened in those days? No, it's a very long story. <clears throat> but in essence, I was on my front uh, porch step, and my father was very ill, being taken out in an ambulance. A fellow stopped by to see what was going on, because he had a good friend that lived next door. That's how we met. It's a very long story. I won't bore you with it. Yeah, but it was good. Please, was, it, <laughs> was it good to be so popular so young? Uh, did it? Did it? Did you grow up fast? Did it change you in any way that might have even been negative because you got so much no, attention? No, I don't think so, Eileen. I think the three of us were handled very, very well. We had very good first early management, and uh, I think our just our family upbringing. Uh, the neighborhood uh, helped, the neighborhood, huh? Uh, the three of us being Italian, very ethnic in South Philadelphia, and the love of the family. Yeah. And plus the management, early management, I think helped the three of us. Isn't that great, Jimmy Darren? You mm -hmm. read picked Herculani, up a, yeah. A Jimmy Herculani. Herculani. Herculani was his name, yeah. But it was that that was kind of the impetus for you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah he was my he was yeah, the my same idol. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> I had the same He's hair. He's got our hair now. <laughs> but Herculani, yeah. When I read the Daily News in Philadelphia that that uh, James Herculani was going out to Hollywood, I said, if he can do it, I can do it. So how did you do it? I just kept Follow. on going. I followed <laughs> <laughs> the same ticket. No, I, I started playing trumpet, and uh, from there went into a band called Rocco and the Saints, and then from there went into making some records as a singer, and then from there went into motion pictures. And you're a great trumpet thing. player, and Bobby, you're a great dum drummer, aren't you? That's basically the same story. And you, Fabian, is a great I play thief. The radio. A great thief. <laughs> 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 we have a clip from a movie that Frank did. Um, we have a, a, a speech blanket bingo. I mean, that was a good. Uh, you don't like that, huh? You don't that. Like that. Can we watch that? Let's take a look. I think that year was 1963 or 1964 when I made that picture, and it's amazing how I lost. I mean, I was nominated for the Academy Award for that. <laughs> 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 Fun to work with Annette? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. still a friend? We're going to do another one. Are you? Yeah. yeah. We're going to do it at the end of this year, and it'll be out in 1987. Great. And it's called A New Wave, and uh, Annette and I play married now 20 years. We have a couple of kids. This is and, uh, we get back to the beach again. You worked with Bing Crosby in 1960, didn't you? Fabian. Oh, me? Oh, yeah. yeah. In a film. Yeah. <laughs> wake up. The North End is... You wake up from the North End, will you? <laughs> No, I uh, had the <laughs> honor of working with him in a film called High Time. Blake Edwards directed it. Mm. So I, you studied acting a lot. I oh, mean, you, yeah. you have you've done a lot of films. <laughs> Look at Frank looking at you. <laughs> there we go. Look, is that on the set of High Times that's, with you? Uh, of High Time? Yeah, oh yeah, that's Bing and. Uh, Bing it. That was me on the other side. <laughs> and, yeah. 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 and then you did Ride the Wild Surf, right? Didn't you do that film? Yeah, we did We did one called Ride the Wild Surf. And then I think in between, no, right before that I did the uh, North to Alaska thing in that period with John Wayne. Yeah. And then a couple with um, Jimmy Stewart. Do you like acting? Oh, very much so. Yeah? Oh, sure. Why don't we see more of you? Oh, we'll be doing, I'll be doing a movie of the week, uh, hopefully by the end of this year. That I'll produce and uh, be in called Top 40. Great. It has nothing to do with the music business. It's about a guy turning 40. I don't know who that would be. If that isn't you? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and Bobby, I did Bye Bye Birdie in high school, so I loved Everybody watching you. Did Bye Everybody Bye did it. Yeah. yeah. You were Hugo? I was Hugo Peabody. You were so cute. Uh, all of my film. <laughs> I did one. That was it. But it was a great motion picture. Oh, it oh, was. And Margaret? Was. Yeah, not too shabby. No, not too shabby at all. <laughs> You're all married. Yes. And yeah. I want you to know something about Frank Avalon. You won't believe it his young age. He has eight children. Oh. Uh, There's is, nothing to it. There's nothing to it. <laughs> what I read that Frank told somebody once is that his wife Kay has never had a headache. <laughs> <laughs> you like that. You have it now. And mm -hmm. and how many children do you have, Fabian? <laughs> how many? Wait, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's Get up. <laughs> From a previous marriage, I have two children. Do my, you? My son is 16, and my, my beautiful daughter is 14. What do the kids think about you being an idol, a teenage idol? Do you ever talk about it? No, no, you don't. Really. People no. think you must. They hear it well, from the mothers of their friends in school. I don't know. Um, my two children, my son Robert is 16, and my daughter Jennifer will be uh, 12, the 20th of this month. And they knew that Dad was a singer, and he goes out and he works nightclubs, and that's how we pay the bills. When we previewed the show for the very first time in Philadelphia at the Valley Forge Music Fair, Our the show. Golden Boys, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the Golden Boys of Bandstand, my children came, and there was so much media there. Entertainment Tonight Evening Magazine, my son was really taken back. Was well, so he? didn't realize. He, no, he didn't. I think he realized and said, hey, these guys really are important. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, you were all teenagers when you first started. You know what's started. amazing? My two little girls, because, you know, my kids range from 22 down to 12, and uh, my two little girls, the 12-year-old and the 13 or 14-year-old, <laughs> love him. Really? They just think that he's a fox. A fox. They love Fabian. Yeah, yeah I mean that. I, I can't say I blame them. I really can't. <laughs> if I told you, Fabian, what I used to do to you guys in the fan magazines when I was 14 years old, I practiced kissing on some of your pictures. Whoa, I, would, I admit yeah, that. Second. How many of you did it? How many of you wished and dreamed when you were 14 right. that... Even the guys. Even the guys. <laughs> <laughs> they yes, were we different have... magazines. <laughs> Did you know, you're teenagers when you begin, did you know how important you were to the women of America, the young women of America? Did you even have a sense of it? Well, I think we knew that, you know, when we would go on stage, you know, there was, there was bedlam and screaming and so forth, and we didn't have time to really appreciate any of that because, you know, we Who were did? kind of... Well, I didn't anyway, because, you know, I was kind of being hustled all over the place. He was on the beach all the time. He was on the beach. <laughs> I wonder how do you keep your ego placed.